Hey guys, welcome to day 25 of the uh, revolution. Um, today is a root practice. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And welcome to your 31 day yoga revolution, day 25. And today we have a root practice. Let's get started. Alrighty, my friends, let's begin in Sukhasana today. Come into your seat. Sit up nice and tall. If you're here with me now, I bow to you. We have a week left in our journey. Of course, it's still a big journey ahead, but a week left in our yoga revolution exploration together. And I'm so honored that you're still here. This last week is really special. So today's practice is more compact. So we want to honor the time that we're taking on the mat by jumping right into a nice conscious breath. So sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, and feel as you exhale, your shoulders relax and close your eyes and just feel the weight of your hips really grounding down, sinking down into the earth. So there's really no as we learned yesterday, task to master here, save for this opportunity to really just be present and to embrace the process of the practice. So if I say something that doesn't really resonate with you, like let your hips grow heavy or melt your hips into the earth or wrap this, wrap that, send breath to your bone, whatever. Remember that it's a practice. So how you tackle that, well, how you take that cue, what you do with it is entirely up to you. I am burning. Oh. So a great thing to consider throughout today's deep practice. Just really grounding in the process. So continue to deepen your breath here. And again, use the exhale to relax your shoulders and allow your hips, your legs to grow heavy. You might see your sit bones pressing down into the earth like two push pins as you start to lift up through the center, plumb line, the spine. Wonderful. Then when you're ready, draw the hands to the heart. Try to maintain this awareness of just the heaviness in the lower body and the lightness or lift in the upper body. As you bow, chin to chest, head to heart or head to hands. Feel that stretch on the back of the neck. Activate through the upper back body. And here we kind of bow to the big picture. Start to draw some energy up from your pelvic floor, right where that root chakra is, if that's your thing. And for everyone, it's just this awareness at the base of the spine and you're drawing energy all the way up as you slowly roll up, tuck the chin into the chest, and sit up nice and tall. Interlace the fingertips. Keep this lift best you can all the way up, 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 up from the root as you interlace the fingertips and press the palms forward. Plug the shoulders in, then reach the pinkies up and then back. Big stretch here. So. There's a tendency to just kind of arch the back and let it all spill out. See if you can hug the lower ribs and feel this lift from the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha, or this just awareness, this engaging quality in the muscles of the pelvic floor, or this awareness at the base of the spine, the root chakra area, which is about security. Inhale. Slowly, without crunching the back of the neck, look up, or another way to think of it is to carve a line with your nose and look towards your thumbs, and then use an exhale to release, and fingertips are going to come slightly behind the hip points here. Actually, it's more coming behind the hip points, for sure. So we can find that lift up through the arms and chest. Then once again, lift up from the pelvic floor, left ear over left shoulder here, press away from your yoga mat with your fingerprints. And with your at with the outer edges of your feet, or press away from the earth. So big stretch in the right side of the neck. Then lift it back up through the center. Connect head over heart, heart over pelvis, and then right ear over the right shoulder. Again, press away from the earth. So we're aware of what's going on in the feet. And then back to center. And then release and come forward onto all fours. 
take your time getting there. When you arrive, take a couple cat cows, moving with your breath. And then after a couple rounds of cat cow, make your way to downward facing dog. Give the thinking mind a break, stay present, hips up high. We start to take our dog for a little walk. Really rooting into all of the fingerprints, pressing into the knuckles, kind of suctioning up through the center of the palm and then pressing into the base, nice and strong. And here we go, when you're ready, inhale, come up onto the tippy tiptoes, really lift from the hip creases, lift your heels up, press away from your yoga mat with your palms, try to melt your heart towards the tops of your thighs just for this action here. Lift the hip, hip creases even more, inhale, Exhale, slowly lower the heels down. Two more times, inhale. Lift it up, lift as high as you can go. Exhale, lower the heels. One more, you got this. Press into the palms, shoulders, top of the arm bones, wrap around. We got this, one more breath, melt your heart back. This is great if you're working on handstanding. And then exhale, heels to the mat. Awesome work. Walk the big toes together. Then inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way up into your lunge, pivot on the back foot, warrior one. Inhale, reach for the sky. Strong legs here, feel the power of that back foot. Big breath in, big breath out, come all the way back down. Downward facing dog, step the right toes back. Hips up high, lift the heels, pressing your tippy tip toes. Inhale, lift, 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 lift. Exhale, ground. Inhale, lift from the base of the spine, find length through the crown, lift. And exhale, ground. One more time. Big inhale, lift, lengthen. And exhale, ground. Beautiful. Walk the big toes together. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, step it all the way through, pivot on the back foot, warrior one. Feel the power of that back foot as you rise up strong, that scissor effect as you lift, lift, lift up through the center channel. Inhale, send the fingertips up high, tap into that inner smile here, big breath, and exhale, release. Plant the palms, downward facing dog. One more time here, we got this. So we're not just moving the ankles, the feet, the heels, create a full body experience. Okay, the one loving, working big machine. <laughs> a machine. So what I mean by that is it's all working as one. As I suction the palms, I lift the heels, I draw from the pelvic floor, nice and stable in the shoulders, all this beautiful work I've been doing in the shoulders. Lift, melt the heart back. Inhale, and exhale, lower. Two more times, inhale, lift, maybe walk the toes a little closer. And exhale, lower. And one more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Child's pose, lower the knees. Take a rest, forehead comes to the mat. Listen to the sound of your breath here. Eight, reach the fingertips all the way up, come back to all fours, downward facing dog. When you're ready, big inhale to look forward, exhale to make your way to the top. Now you can practice bending the knees and giving it a hop, lifting. Uh, a friend of mine gave me a great cue of lifting your butt cheeks when you do that, it really helps you inhale look forward. Exhale, claw through the fingertips and lift the butt the cheeks to hop, or you can just walk or step to it. On your chin, forward fold. When you're ready, bend the knees, tuck the chin into the chest, and slowly roll it up. And as you roll up, really see if you can draw energy up from the arches of the feet today, pressing into all four corners of your foot. 
really feel like this idea that we mentioned a lot, you know, the, this idea of needing to rise, this kind of rebound. And if you can't feel it, just again, practice, play. This idea of rebound, this yielding effect as you press your feet into the earth and lift up through your heart. And continue to listen to the sound of your breath. We'll draw the hands together at the heart. Big inhale to lift the right knee up. And then exhale, place it down. Big inhale to lift the left knee up. Lift your sternum to your thumbs. And exhale, place it down. Now see if you can do it a couple more times without shifting in the hips. Maybe we shift in the hips just a little bit, a little dance break. All right, we've earned it. And then here we go. Connect. Inhale, lift the right knee up. And exhale, place it down. Spread awareness through all four corners of the foot. And again, we're trying to shift without really dumping weight into the right heel, but pressing down, come up. And a couple more times, you can play. And so one great way to really embrace this practice is to imagine like really moving from your center, connecting. Another great image is the, uh, you know, headlights. Not those headlights, a-hole, <laughs> just kidding. But um, like little flashlights on your hips. And you don't want those those headlights or those flashlights to shift too much when you move, yes? All right, just a little, just a little play time here, a little practice. Okay, then we'll take whatever your experience here. <laughs> into our tree pose. So the next time that your left foot is down, slowly, so slow it down so you can really be present through the journey of lifting the right knee all the way up. And then you'll take your right foot, press it against the inner thigh, and then press your inner thigh back towards your right foot. Other options, calf, still finding that squeeze, that lift, or toes on the ground, still finding that lift, that squeeze. Right, so wherever you are, we're kind of working with that idea of pressing down into the earth and lifting up, finding that lightness, that strength. This is going to totally, this whole yoga revolution is going to totally change your yoga game. For me, I can just see already right now this tree pose, this idea of moving from a place of connect is so much um, more fun and joyful and grounding than holding on to a dear life. So top of the right thigh wraps around. You might even try lifting your left toes if you're at a place in your practice or your energy level feels uh, no. today. Sure, you might press into the outer edge of your right foot. And just see if you can really find that stability so if you fall, fabulous. That means yeah, it's not too much for you the way you needed or you need to have that process to come back to it and try again. Chill. Right, everything is out of the tree. Take the hands where they feel good. Mm. Listen to the sound of your breath. And take one more big inhale. And then use your exhale to slowly release with control. Place the right foot down and then immediately place the left. Oh, excuse me, lift the left knee as you caress into your sternum. Yes. And let's check it out on the other side. Again. If this foot is coming into the inseam, squeeze and press. Hug the lower ribs in. Play here. Maybe lifting the toes, finding that stability, that grounding. So tailbone lengthens down. And really, key so key. here, imagine those hip, those lights on your hip creases here, and they're not actually even trying to shine forward, but think of them as trying to shine up towards the sky. Great action point. Coming around with the arms, pressing into the outer edge of your left foot, letting the top of your left thigh down, ground down. As you lift up through your heart, tap into that inner smile here. Take one more big breath in and exhale with control. 
some more deep breath in. Big exhale out. Imagine your breath is like washing you. Inhale in. Exhale. Wonderful. Take the feet as wide as your yoga mat. Toes are going to spill off the edge, and then you're going to come down into that squat really mindfully, really slowly. So take a deep breath in. Again, let your breath wash, or as we say in Texas, wash in and out of you. Big inhale. Interlace the fingertips, press the palms forward, up and back, and slowly sink down. Pause here. Don't sink all the way. Pause. Stop just before. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, hands to heart, stay lifted. So check it out. If you're sinking all the way down here, my friend, challenge yourself. Lift up, press, really root ground through the tops of the feet and lift up from the base of the spine. One more breath, inhale, you got this. Such power, exhale, release, gorgeous. Come to a nice cross-legged seat here. Back to Sukhasana. Back to Sukhasana, back to reality, but not yet. Come to a nice comfy seat and inhale, blanket yourself in love as you exhale, relax the shoulders. Just a couple more breaths here, your yoga time. Awesome work. Let's bring the left hand to the right knee, right fingertips behind. This gentle twist to the right. Feel that lifting up from the pelvic floor, grounding through the tops of the thighs. A little goes a long way. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, exhale, twist. And release from the hands to the heart. All right, what do you want to root into for the rest of your day or your evening? Pick one word, find it now, place it right in between your palms here. What do you want to root into? Drama? No. Peace. All right, and when you feel like you have your one word, place it right in your hands, rock stars. Take a look at your beautiful body. Experience your beautiful breath. Inhale. And we bow to one another. The awesome in me bows to the awesome in you. Whatever you chose to root into, I am rooting for you. Take good care. I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you show up. It's going to be awesome. Namaste. A week left. Um, I hope y'all are having a good uh, Monday, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I gotta go get ready for the gym and uh, try to get this workout in. So uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hope y'all have a good day.